Ahmed sat on the edge of his small bed, staring out the window of his cramped apartment. The city outside was alive with noise and movement, but inside it felt silent and lonely. He had been living in this foreign land for three years now, far away from the warm sun and familiar streets of his hometown. Back home, Ahmed had a large family. Every Friday they would gather for a big meal, laughing and sharing stories. The scent of his mother's cooking, the sound of his siblings' laughter, these were the things he missed the most. But in this new place, he was just another face in the crowd, one of many who had left their homes in search of better opportunities. Ahmed had come to this city with dreams of a brighter future. He wanted to build something for himself to prove that he could make it on his own. But the reality of living abroad was much harder than he had imagined. The language barrier, the cultural differences, and the endless hours of work left him exhausted and often feeling isolated. Yet there were moments that made the struggle worth it, like the time when he finally got a promotion at work, a recognition of all his hard efforts, or when he found a small cafe that reminded him of home with its warm tea and friendly owner who spoke his language. In those moments, Ahmed felt a connection, a sense of belonging that eased the ache of homesickness. Still, the loneliness never fully went away. He would call his family often, but the phone calls only made the distance feel more real. His mother would ask when he was coming back and he would always say, soon, inshallah, but soon seemed further away each time he said it. One winter night, as snow softly fell outside his window, Ahmed made a decision. He would return home even if just for a short visit. He needed to feel the embrace of his family to walk the streets that held his childhood memories. The thought of seeing his parents' faces again, of hearing the familiar sounds of his neighborhood, filled him with a warmth he hadn't felt in years. As the plane touched down in his home country, Ahmed's heart raced with excitement. The air smelled different, fresher, filled with the scents of the land he loved. When he stepped out into the arrivals hall, his family was there waiting, just as they had promised. His mother's eyes filled with tears as she hugged him tightly, and for the first time in a long time, Ahmed felt truly at peace. That night, as he sat around the dinner table with his family, Ahmed realized something important. No matter where life took him, no matter how far he traveled, his heart would always belong here, in this place, surrounded by the people who loved him. He had chased his dreams across the world, but he had found his true happiness right where he started, at home. The days that followed were filled with laughter, stories, and the comfort of familiarity. Ahmed visited old friends, walked through the streets he knew so well, and spent hours talking with his parents. Each day, he felt the weight of the past few years lifting from his shoulders. One afternoon, as he sat with his father in the garden, his father turned to him and said, You've done well, Ahmed. We're proud of you. These simple words meant the world to Ahmed. He had always sought his family's approval, and hearing it now, after all he had endured, felt like the validation he needed. But as the days of his visit dwindled, Ahmed felt a growing sense of dread. He knew he would have to return to the life he had built abroad, to the responsibilities and commitments waiting for him. The thought of leaving his family again filled him with sorrow, but he also knew that the sacrifices he made were for their sake as much as his own. On his last night at home, Ahmed sat with his mother in the kitchen, watching her prepare a meal just as she had done countless times before. The familiar aromas filled the air, and they talked about everything and nothing, savoring the moment. Ahmed, his mother said gently, I know it's hard for you to be away from us, but remember, you're doing this for your future and for ours. Wherever you are, we're always with you in spirit. Those words stayed with Ahmed as he boarded the plane the next day. The flight back was quiet, giving him time to reflect on all that had happened. He realized that the sense of loneliness he had felt wasn't just about being in a different place. It was about feeling disconnected from the people he loved. But now, he understood something crucial. Home wasn't just a physical place. It was a feeling, a bond, that stretched across any distance. He carried his family in his heart, and no matter where he went, they would always be with him. When Ahmed returned to his small apartment, the city felt different. It was still loud and bustling, but now it didn't seem so foreign. He knew he had to keep pushing forward, to keep working towards the dreams that had brought him here. But now, he had a renewed sense of purpose and a reminder of where his true strength came from. Ahmed hung a photo of his family on the wall, a constant reminder of the love that awaited him back home. And whenever he felt the pangs of loneliness, he would look at that photo and remember that no matter how far he was from home, he was never truly alone. In the end, Ahmed found peace in the knowledge that the road he was on was part of a much larger journey, one that connected his past, present, and future. He knew that one day he would return to stay. But until then, 
he would carry his home with him wherever life might lead.